Ezekiel chapter 1. Now, Ezekiel is an interesting book. As we will see that Ezekiel is written by Ezekiel about 550 B.C. to the Jewish people who are in captivity. And from the very first few uh, verses we see, Now it came to pass in the thir 30th year, the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month. Why do we got these dates but we don't have the date of the birth of Jesus? We got the month, day, and year. As I was among the captives by the river of Chebar, we'll get that in a moment. That the heavens were open, I saw the visions of God in the fifth day of the month, which is the fifth year of King Jehoiachin. That's the second to last king dating the book. So I forget if this is the first or second captivity of Nebuchadnezzar coming to Jerusalem. Um, I have it written down here somewhere. I had the captivity written down, but I didn't look it up. But Babylon comes three different times. And I'll have to look it up next time. I'm going to go back to all the pages of Jeremiah. But here we go. He says, Now it came to pass the thirtieth year in the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, I was among the captains of the river of Chebar. Now Chebar is a river that rises north of the Mesopotamia. It flows first southeast, then south, and southwest is the Euphrates. And on the fertile banks, Nebuchadnezzar located a part of the captives of Jews. And this is where we are now. So Jeremiah is going to speak of, I mean, Ezekiel can see visions of God. Verse 3, the word of God came especially, expressly Unto Ezekiel the priest. Now look at back Jeremiah chapter 1. People who don't study their Bible. The words of Jeremiah the son of Hilkiah of the priest. Back to Ezekiel. Ezekiel 1 3. The word of the Lord that came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest. Jeremiah and Ezekiel are priests, they're Levites. And the temple will be destroyed. Even in Ezekiel's time, the temple has not been destroyed yet. In the land of Chaldees, so Ezekiel's not in Judah. He's been carried away captive by the river of Shebar. You'll see that a lot. The hand of the Lord was upon, was there upon him. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind, kind of tornado, came out of the north, a great cloud. A fire enfolded itself. This would be a type, but not the second advent, the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, when the second advent is, fire and clouds and coming from the north and brightness was about it this is a, and in the midst of Job God comes and speaks to Job out of a whirlwind so Job will picture the tribulation the the battle of Judah and Jerusalem by Nebuchadnezzar is a picture of the tribulation. Now the midst thereof a color of amber, yellowish, orange, out of the midst of the fire. Also out of the midst thereof came a likeness of four living creatures. 
And we're going to see a standard of the number four. And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. I would think the torso. Everyone had four faces. Everyone had four wings. And their feet and their feet were straight feet. Straight down. I'm not sure if they had a knee. Where I would go to say the thing, people say the devil's going to bow down before Jesus Christ. The devil may not have knees. If the devil, Lucifer, was the fifth cherub, and you do the study of the cherubs, which we will, this is what Lucifer looked like. The sole of their feet were like the sole of a calf's foot, split foot. Not a paw. And they sparkled like the color of brandish brass. <coughs> we will find Jesus Christ in the book of Revelation sparking his brass. They had the hands of a man under their wing. Now this is the only winged creatures you would find in heaven. The angels are not winged on their four sides. And they had and th and they four had their faces and their wings. So there's four faces, there's four sets of wings. Four, 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 four. And they four had their faces and their wings. There are four faces, four sets of wings. And the wings were joined one to another. They turned not when they went. So the bodies didn't turn. They didn't rotate. And they went everyone straight forward. I don't know how they went straight forward with four faces. I would assume that their direction would be north, east, west, or south. But they did not turn. Now, were their faces fixed that man's face was in one direction always forever? The eagle's face was set in one direction forever. And they could not rotate. I don't know. As for their likenesses of their faith, this, they four, it's a four again, had the face of a man, face of a lion. On the right side, they four had the face of an ox. On the left, they four also had the face of an eagle. So I don't know if those directions of those faces are fixed. Now, when we run the Revelation, the book of Revelation, you wouldn't think we would run there. We're going to see a same but a different Revelation 4, 6. In Revelation 4, 6, John is in heaven. The church is in heaven. And before the throne, Revelation 4, 6, I almost said John. There was a sea of glass like unto crystal, ice. And in the midst of the throne, see, we can study Revelation throughout the Old Testament book. And round about the throne were four beasts, four, full of eyes round before and behind. We'll see that come up. The first beast was like a lion. Where he saw that. The second beast was like a cow. I believe Ezekiel said an ox. Ox and a calf is the same. Now there's somewhere, I forget where it was now, but we continue our study. There was one like a cherub. Well, that's the calf, the ox. A cherub is a calf or an ox. <clears throat> so what is the worship of the Almighty? Car uh, 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 ox, calf, cherub. 
the Golden Arches, the Burger King, the Chick Fil A. We Texas is, is you know the, the beef steak or the the, the the Longhorn steak, and that's all a reference to the beans of God and the fifth cherubim that is missing. That is the dragon. That is the fish, Lucifer. And the third beast had the face of a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and were full of eyes within. And they rest not day or night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. So these beasts never sleep. So when we come back to Ezekiel, verse 5 again, Out of the mist came likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. Torso. It's not the, we're not looking at the face yet. Their torso is like a man. Everyone had four faces. Now, John says there's four different creatures with four faces. Ezekiel says there's four different creatures with four faces. Everyone had four faces. It's not four individual creatures with a face. It is four creatures with four faces, 16 faces. No, yeah. And everyone had four faces, everyone had four wings. And their feet were straight feet. The sole of their feet was like a calf's foot. Not a man's foot, it's not a paw, it's a calf. And they sparkled like the color of brandish, burnished bat, rat. And they had their hands of man under their wings, on their four sides. So, a thumb and four fingers. Animals don't have that. But Darwin would come to say that the animals would grow a thumb and four fingers. They four had their faces and their wings. The wings were joined one to another and they turned not when they went. And they went everyone straight forward. Revelation says they have six wings. As for the likeness of their faces, the they four had the face of a man, face of a lion, on the right side. Now I don't know if Ezekiel is telling us that these faces are fixed. They can't turn around. That when they go, they boom, boom, and they don't turn. It gets more complicated as we go. And they four had the face of an ox. John says a calf. On the left side. So on the left side there's an ox. They four also had a face of an eagle. And I tell you that eagle is an unclean animal. I believe the lion is an unclean animal because it has a paw. Man's not unclean, though he's a sinner. And the ox, the calf, they're not unclean because they were allowed to be eaten and they were given to sacrifice. And as far as New Jerusalem goes, I believe there's the only place you're going to see animals. Now, I don't know about the new earth that the Jews get. But if they farm and live, they're going to have. <clears throat> but people want to see puppy dogs. They're unclean. Thus were their faces. So Ezekiel points at the faces, which match John. Uh, yeah, John. 
Their wings, later on he's going to give us a little more example. Their wings were straight upward. And the Catholic Church gives us wings, you know, they got that little arch. And then they come down. These are not angels. Because when angels show up on this earth, people would, hey, you know, these men visit me. <laughs> this man visit me. A man of God. When these show up, Ezekiel and John said, hey, they got four faces. Manoah's wife, Samson's dad, his mother did not go up to her husband and say, hey, I saw this this thing with four different faces. No, he said, this man. And don't say, well, you know, it was just a man face looking at her. Ezekiel seen the man face. John seen the man face. Hey, let me mention there's three other faces. I think you would not miss them. It's too bad that many Christians are two-faced. And yet God's creatures are four-faced. Notice Ezekiel's creatures don't say a word. John's creatures, holy, holy. Now, as these creatures, Ezekiel, come to earth, does come into this sin-cursed world, makes them shut up? Jehovah Witnesses will say about Jesus. Well, you know, he said, call no man, uh, was the young one, call no man good. Only God the Father is good in heaven. And, you know, yeah, but Jesus Christ was in the flesh. Jesus Christ as God would have to go potty. God doesn't go potty. And that man that came to Jesus already had rejected God. Jesus knew already that man would reject God. So some believe that was Paul. But that moment he rejected God. Thus were their faces. It's a Ezekiel said <laughs> their faces. Well, we're going to get to something tomorrow night, Lord willing. Wow. I can't even explain. But tonight, their faces. Oh, and their wings. Were stretched upward. Two wings of everyone were joined one to another. And the two covered their body. John says they had six wings. So Ezekiel says there were two wings that went straight up, and then there were two wings that covered their body. But he was able to see enough where he says, verse 5, they had the likeness of man. He was able to see enough that there's a torso of man. Listen, your mystery writers, your horror story writers, Stephen King could not come up with stuff like this without help from Lucifer. You know why they write such good, great horror story? Uh, story? <coughs> because Lucifer, who's been in heaven, Lucifer, who is Satan, knows God and knows the word of God. He can, he can tell the human beings, you know, as the inspiration of God through the Holy Spirit to write the Bible, Satan has an inspiration to man to write horror stories. And my daughter asked me the other day about Stephen King. And I told her, that man writes under the inspiration of the devil. Why are the children of corn in all his character? Why do they have biblical names and biblical accounts? You couldn't read the Bible and write stuff like that. And yet the devil knows the scriptures. And they turned not when they went. went. And they were went everyone straight forward. So I 
am assuming that they would travel north, but not northwest, or go west. That there was not a conflict of the faces. I want to go this, I want to, well, we'll go east, southeast. There was no conflict. They had only four directions to go. And no other. And whether the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, was to go, so they are guided by the Holy Spirit. They went. And they turned not when they went. So they would go straight down the road. Maybe they didn't go east or west at all. Maybe they came straight north, came south, or they went back north. As for the likeness of the living creature, their appearance was like burning coals of fire. Now this is all second advent references. And like the appearance of lamps. Now keep that in mind for a moment. It went up and down among the living creatures. There's this lamp that's going amongst the living creatures. I'll, remind you, I'll have to find that in the Bible. And the fire was bright and went out of the fire. Went forth lightning. There will be lightning in, in heaven. And the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of flash of lightning. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Verse 12 says they turned not when they went. Ezekiel 114 says they run as lightning. Well, it can't be a flash of, of diagonal lightning that we know of because that would be turning. They're going to be a flash of straight lightning, not crooked. And that which is made crooked meets straight? Yes, God can do it. Now that burning lamb, let me, let me check here. This other reference I was thinking about. All right, this one reference, Genesis chapter 15. I just thought of this just right now. Abraham has an offering to God. After God's told him, I'll give you all this land. Abraham sets off an altar and offering in Genesis 15, 17. And it came to pass that when the sun went down, it was dark. Behold, a smoking furnace, that's the altar, and a burning lamp that passed between those pieces. All right, go back to Ezekiel. Ezekiel 1.13. And I just saw that just a, just a few minutes ago. Ezekiel 113, as the likeness of living creatures, their appearance was like a burning coals of fire. You mean the altar? Abraham offered? And their appearance was as lamps? And it went down, went up and down amongst the living creatures? What on earth did Abraham see? He saw exactly what Ezekiel saw. I just saw that. Oh, I don't like reading the New Test Old Testament. But we're not finished. Well, let's go to the most important book that all Christians love and they miss, Revelation. We'll look at Revelation 1, 12, and 13. You're going to read it off. And I turned to see a voice that spake to me, being turned, the cherubim's never turned, I saw seven golden coals, go, golden candlesticks. Say that five times quick. In the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, one like the Son of Man, 
clothed with a, a garment down to the foot and girls about his paps, that's his chest, with a golden girl. I've seen these beasts and they had the appearance of man. So, so does Jesus. Verse number 15. And his feet were as fine brass. You mean like the, the cherubim? As if they burned in a furnace. You mean like Abraham now? And I see him as coals of fire? Like Jesus? And his voice was the sound of many waters. Okay. Verse 20. And the mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, the seven golden candlesticks. Well, you go back to Ezekiel. Ezekiel 113, the likeness of living creatures, Jesus Christ is living. The appearance was like the burning coals of fire, Abraham's offering. And the description you get of the brass of Jesus' feet, which is also the brass of the brazen altar where the sacrifices were brought. The light appearance of lamps. Abraham's offering. You lit the candles by the fire off the altar because if you had your your big lighter with you as Nahab and Abihu, you end up fried. That the golden incense altar that had the coals were lit off the fire off the brazen altar which was never to go out. And John see, says, I see Jesus Christ and there were these seven candlesticks. <laughs> Abraham says, I've seen this fire. Ezekiel says, I see this fire. And we got to remember this because this is going to come up again. And you only miss out on your studying to show thyself approved unto God when you skip Scripture. And the living creatures ran in return as appearance of flash of lightning, though not crooked, straight. And we're going to stop right there because I'm going to be in no rush. The next part of Ezekiel, I won't be able to explain.